Hi guys. Good evening everyone. Welcome, welcome. Another edition of Monday Musings. Oh, let me turn that background noise off. There, much better. Welcome everybody. Got to get my readers on. I'm starting earlier uh, on Mondays just because I'm helping out some other people in their rooms, um, mainly on TikTok. So I thought I'd pop in here. Uh, we'll see what's going on, see what's happening, what's shaking. Guys, this is another reminder that I only have this one business account. That's it. Just this one. If there is someone attempting to in, have you inbox them for their free reading, um, first of all, ignore those people. They're trolls and scammers. Second of all, if there is a fake page of me that tries to send you a message or tries to follow you, business pages can't follow you or friend request you. Definitely that's a clue that that is not me. So guys, pay attention. Please be ever vigilant. Uh, oh, did you like my TikTok, Nancy? Thank you. For those who are on my TikTok, um, I did find Hector and we finished the reading. So Hector is all good, okay? Just so you all know, I just think he had some communication issues, I think, going on. But we got together. He sent me a private message. So he got his reading. So thank you, guys. Yeah, I. I it was a fun... Was it... Are you... Are you talking about the the TikTok I just did not too long ago? Is that the one you were on? Um, anyway, guys, don't fall prey to anything. If you guys aren't following me on TikTok, TikTok, my father passed away. Please tell me he's with my mother. Oh, he passed today. I'm so sorry for your loss, Linda. Our loved ones do meet us on the other side. So that's a big yes for you. Don't you worry about it. Okay, um, follow me on TikTok, which is Psychic Medium Pam Sears. Follow me on Instagram, which is Pam Sears underscore Psychic Medium. Um, on YouTube, I'm Pam Sears Psychic Medium. I'm trying to get up to a thousand on YouTube. I've kind of let YouTube go, but I really want to start doing lives for uh, YouTube. So I've got to get up to a thousand to be able to use my phone. Um, I can use the computer, but I prefer not to do that. So welcome everyone. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, yeah, they changed a lot of concerts and such. Oh, that little yapper next door. Let's do this guys. Let me clean the energy. a light one. Much stronger. There you go. Woo! That's clearing the energy. So get those announcements out of the way. You guys know that I will never ever approach you and offer you say, oh my god, I got this reading for you. Give me your credit card. I don't do that. Okay. All right. Let's pull some collective cards. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. Guys, I will be pulling cards uh, unless Spirit pops in and brings a message. Then I will be focusing on that. So I'm going to pull two collective cards for all of us for tonight, okay? I had to put a mint in my mouth because my allergies got my throat all dry. Ooh. The first card. Pay attention. Blocks have been lifted. Those of us, and this is, um, you know, Belle, I, I saw your question. I'm not really sure what happens about with the ears are burning. Um, mine get touched a lot, but I don't know what it means when the ears are burning. 
It might, probably means somebody's talking about you. That's what I was told, but I don't know for sure. Anyway, blocks are lifted. Previous obstacles came from fear, and they are now lifted away. So guess what? The second one is, now we can take the initiative, okay? The blocks have been lifted away, guys. It's up to us to take that initiative. Now, this tree reminds me of the bird, the phoenix bird. Rising up from the ashes. Doesn't it look like a beautiful... Getting chills? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of chills when spirit is around me. So, rocks are lifted. Let's take the initiative. Yeah, I mean, I get chills a lot. I, I have a lot of spirits that are around me all the time. And um, so, well, Paula, the right medium will come along and you'll get a connection. Okay. Um, have you had private sessions with those mediums? Is that true? Hey, Pam. Pam won. Congratulations on your new car. Yeah, I'm going early tonight. Um, all right. Um, I, I'm not going to get into medical questions here. Um, I, I suppose you better check to make sure that, you know, you, you talk to the doctor and find out if it's going to harm your baby. I, I am not a medical person, not a medical medium. I don't go, I don't do health questions and I don't do pregnancy and fertility questions. Okay. I just, you know, I'm not going to play God. That's just not something. All right. So those were our, the blocks have been lifted and now it's time to take the initiative. So Pam, you walked in right after I pulled those cards. Hey, Lisa, welcome, welcome. So, blocks are lifted, take the initiative. I'm going to say that again for those that just came into the room. So the other Pam, that means you can go forward. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, I've been, I've been having some pretty incredible readings in my TikTok. Gosh. Um, it's been interesting, to say the least. So I'm going to, um, you guys have to be 18 or over in here to get a reading okay i'll finish my mint in a minute but my throat was way too dry with the allergies so you have to be 18 or over to get um what blocks this was a collective card for all of us so we've all got whatever blocks that were slowing us down whatever that was something might have been holding you back i don't know when it's a collective card we all have our own private uh, message that goes on with that. So welcome everybody. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, we will see you're definitely older than 18. <laughs> I'm going to pull some cards. If I do end up getting, um, a spirit, I will most certainly, um, well, I might have one popping in already. So just hang on there. Okay, um, okay, so let me, I do, I think I have somebody here, um, all right, so, and I'm not real good with names, guys, so bear with me, okay, my names aren't always accurate, I have Becky and Debbie, Becky and Debbie, it's, I don't know, Becky, Debbie, Becky, Debbie, I was picking up sisters, I was picking up a female pass from the lungs, I'm being shown two kids. August, I am picking up the month of August. I'm also picking up June or the number six. June or the number six. Um, and someone is showing me a new car. Either somebody's looking for a new car or somebody just bought a new car. So it has to be connected. You guys have to take everything. Yeah, Daniel John took the night off. I think him and the wife went out on a on a much needed date. So, guys, you have to take everything. Becky Debbie. I don't know why. Becky Debbie. Becky Debbie. Sisters. Female that passed from the lungs. Two kids. 
the month of August, the month of June, or the number six, and then they're showing me a new car. So, if you could take everything, put all of that. Your second cousins are Debbie and Becky, okay? Um, was there a female connected to them that passed from the lungs, Jeannie? And your grandma passed, okay? Was it from the lungs, Jeannie? Are those, are those the two kids that I'm hearing? I heard two kids, two kids. Uh, Jeannie, keep talking to me. The month of August, does that have a connection? Your grandma passed. Okay, this could be for you. Uh, okay, Jeannie, all right. Um, how about the month of August? Now, August could be also be the number eight, okay? June or the number six and a new car. So, Jeannie, it looks like you, this is for you. Jeannie, can you talk to me in all caps, please, sweetheart? I don't know who passed from the lungs. I was just giving the name Becky and Debbie. My grandma had three kids, nothing to August, but June is my mom and grandma's birthday. Okay. Um, now... August could also be the number eight because August is the eighth month. So is there a connection to the number eight? I do believe I'm with you, Jeannie. Jeannie, please talk to me in all caps, sweetheart. That way I know that I'm talking to you. Okay. Um, was your grandma one of two kids? And this could be a piggyback situation for, for someone else as well. My sister is Debbie. My uncle passed from lungs. My birthday is June. Um, it was the female that passed from the lungs, Linda, but you might be getting a quick postcard, okay? You got married in August. Okay, Jeannie, this is definitely, definitely for you. So this is the grandma. I just knew that it was a female somehow connected to Bebby, De Becky and Debbie. Um, was possibly your grandma one of two kids or was your mom one of two? It's a smaller room here. Man, we had a huge amount of people in my TikTok. Woo! At one point, I, don't, I lost track of the count, but at one point it was humongous. Okay, so Jeannie, somebody's talking about two kids. So like, was your grandma one of two kids? Was your mom one of two kids? Did your grandma have two kids? Some of you are getting postcards from this. Your mom was born in... Oh, your mom has two kids. All right. Thank you for that, Jeannie. Um, and if you could be getting... Melissa, you could be getting a, a postcard, sweetheart. Okay. Um, but for now... Okay. It has to take... You have to take all of it. The Becky, the Debbie, the Becky, the Debbie... Okay, um, so Jeannie, what, what is this about a car? Is somebody in the family in the, buying a new car? Did they just buy a new car? Are they out looking? Uh, was there something about a new car? Did your grandma have a new car when she passed? I'm being shown a new car. So it usually tells me that somebody on earth is either looking or has just bought a new car. It's one of their ways of validating that they see what we do over here. Um, or it has something to do with your grandma. But I definitely have this, the grandma who passed from the lungs. Um, your mom just bought a new car. Thank you for that validation, Jeannie. Man, this came through strong for you. Um, okay, did you help take care of your grandma? Were you one of the ones that helped take care of your grandma? I'm getting that there are quite a few females that were helping to take care of her towards the end. Were you one of those females? I, I'm kind of seeing three females, but... Um, 
Welcome everybody. Welcome all you new people. Well, welcome all you new people. Um, so Jeannie, um, I'm just waiting to see if you uh, can validate. Were you the one that helped take care of your grandmother? Along with your mom, uh, my mom and her brothers. Okay, okay. Um, the grandma is coming through to say, um, is there already a troll in here? I don't see a troll yet. Okay, who's the troll, guys? I don't see the troll. Let me know. Um... She's coming through to say uh, to the female who was taking care of her that she wanted to say thank you because it was not easy. Um, and I don't know how I'm picking up this energy, but did your mom and grandma, did they struggle? Did they struggle with each other? Uh... Just ignore. Yeah, I'm not seeing it right now, guys. Please ignore. Hit block on the troll, please. It's not popping up on my side. Just ignore that. Uh, now that you're aware of. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, but I mean, I believe it could be the struggle was towards the end. I mean, it's very difficult when we're trying to take care of people. Uh, let's see. I am not, I'm sorry guys, I'm not seeing the trolls, so let's just ignore for the moment. Um, I will do the best I can. I don't see it. All right. So let me finish my reading guys. Um, but anyway, would you please tell her, your mom, how thankful your grandma was for taking care of her? Um, yeah, ignore the troll. I'm also being shown, um, I, she's doing this. That either tells me that someone has her watch or someone has a bracelet of hers, okay? Someone has a wa her watch or someone has a very special bracelet of hers. I feel like there's a charm hanging from it, uh, a charm or two. So if you can validate that, fine, uh, Jeannie. Let me see what else. Um, and who is the avid reader? Who is the avid? They deleted comments. The avid reader, Jeannie, in the family. The avid reader. I'm being shown a stack of books. You bought bracelets in memory, memory of her. Thank you for that validation. Yeah, she's doing this with the wrist. Thank you, thank you for that validation. Um, okay, the books, the books. I'm sh being shown a stack of books. She was the reader and I take after her. Okay, thank you for that validation. Um, she's showing me a small pink flower. Um, I don't... Um, let me... I don't know my flowers very well, but your grandma's coming through and she, they're small little pink flowers. Uh, was your grandmother a gardener? Was your grandmother a gardener? Um, I don't know what the little small pink flowers are. Um, is that something that you guys had made in the bracelet in honor of your grandmother? I don't know what that means, but they're real tiny little pink flowers. Um, As soon as you talked about verifying, validating the bracelets, I saw the little tiny pink flowers. So I don't know what that is. Um, I don't know if she was a gardener. 
Let me see what else your grandma has to say. She's talking about somebody in the family has had a really, really rough time lately. Really? Yeah, she was a gardener. Her favorite color is pink. Thank you for that validation. Okay, so somebody in the family has had a really, really rough time, okay? Um, they're going to get past this. I don't know which one in the family has been um, going through a rough patch. She's there. She's sending the love and the energy, and you're going to get past it. I don't know which one. I'm not even sure. Is there somebody who might have gone through a separation or a divorce? I'm, I'm not sure what that's about. That kind of just popped in a little bit. But she's saying that you're going to get past this rough time. She, you know, our people on the other side can see what's coming. Okay. <laughs> so she's saying it's, um, so let me see if you can validate that, sweetheart. She came in very, very strong for you. Boom. And uh, you get the reading all to yourself instead of a bunch of piggybacks that I've been doing lately. Um, okay, let's see. Well, I And the, the feed goes a little slower, guys, so you guys can see her answers before I do. Um, oh, she approves of the new card, too. Be sure to tell your mom she approves of the new card. Um, I think what would happen if your if your grandma was still alive? Yes, a recent divorce. Thank you, Jeannie. She was showing me something like that. It's going to be okay. You're going to get through the rough patches. In regards to her saying, I approve of the new car, she probably would have gone shopping with your mom and helped her pick out the car. <laughs> so she's approved. she's approving what she chose. Um, okay, is there somebody that has, are there two boys, somebody that has two boys in the family, two boys, two small boys, and everybody that's come in, welcome, welcome, I'm in the middle of a reading, I don't mean to ignore people, hello, welcome, two boys. Would there have been maybe two boys with your grandmother? Like, would your grandmother have had two brothers? Sending love and hugs to all those who've just recently lost somebody. Okay. Now, guys, if I'm not directly reading you, you might still be getting a postcard, which means your loved one popped in with a quick message and popped out. No small boy. She had two boys. Okay, thank you for that, Jeannie. Um, she had two boys. That's perfect. Okay, and she's showing me a rolling pin. This is when somebody shows me a rolling pin, that means they were exceptionally uh, good at baking like pies and pastries and things because you know she's showing me rolling out the dough so um was she exceptionally good at baking and i believe i'm still seeing the old rolling pin in the family somebody in the family has the old rolling pin we'll see if you can validate that sweetheart thing with these allergies you wish you had a spirit that goes shopping with you. <laughs> so some of you are getting postcards. Some of you are getting postcards, you know, with the baking and such. Um, but I am currently with um, Jeannie. Let's see now. So let's see if you can verify, validate the baking and rolling... Thank you guys for repeating. Yeah, um, I think Jeannie got all of that. Um, just waiting for Jeannie to validate. No, she wasn't that good of a baker that I recall. <laughs> Somebody is. Somebody is. <laughs> That's so funny. And you're laughing, but anyway. <laughs> Somebody in the family is using her old rolling pin. Somebody is a good baker. 
That is so funny. <laughs> you know, sometimes when they're making fun of themselves, they'll laugh. She did not laugh. So maybe she didn't find it very funny that she couldn't bake. <laughs> Somebody's a baker in the family and they're using her old rolling pin. They have that in the family. If you, I always tell people, don't dismiss anything I give. Just write it down because it can, it can be important and validated somewhere else. Okay. Um, let me see. Um, is there someone in the family who is getting ready to go back to school? Someone's decided to go. What is a postcard? Uh, no, she wouldn't have found that funny. No, she's not laughing, Jeannie. <laughs> no, <laughs> she's not laughing. Um, oh my God, it's so funny. So, um, somebody is thinking about going back to school. Maybe they put something off, some classes, or now maybe they're saying, okay, with this new path of mine, I'm going to go back to school, take some classes. So she's talking about somebody going back to school. Okay. Let's see. And I don't think it was your grandmother. I don't think it was her that went back to school. I think it's somebody that's still living on earth. Okay. Um, because whoever that is, she's encouraging back to school. That's you, Jeannie. You're going back to school soon. Thank you. She is very much thumbs up with that. Um, very happy for that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, she's, oops, that's okay. I, I saw your answer. It's all right, sweetheart. Um, and she's saying that you're going back to basics. It's like, okay, you're starting new and she's saying you're going to go back and you're going back to basic basics and starting new. So, and that's exactly where you're supposed to be right now. She said exactly where you're supposed to be. Um, so like I said, she's, she's fading away, but let me tell you again, the rough patch is ending. Everything's going to be okay everything's going to be okay. Trust. She's very excited for you. Very, very excited. Um, so anyway, make sure that you tell your mom, you know, and, and, and her brothers too that helped take care of your grandma, but your grandma specifically wanted your mom to know how, uh, how, much she appreciated the help because it was not easy to take care of her towards the end there okay with the lung issues so please let your mom know um and that all is well on the other side um she's kind of laughing as she's leaving and she goes i have everything under control which is funny we're on the other side what's there to have in control so there might have been something with her personality on earth she always had to have everything under control She's like, I got everything under control. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay, thank you, sweetheart, for coming in. Thank you for listening. Many times you hear these little voices that say, go on to Pam's Live. I'm going to give you a message. When You're welcome, Jeannie. You took everything. You validated everything. That was like boom, boom, boom. And, you know, when the, when the spirits are really strong to come through, oh, my gosh. Um, it makes my job so much, it's not a job. It makes my passion so much easier. <sighs> okay, guys. Thank you guys. You're very, very kind, very sweet. Um, I'm going to be pulling some cards now. Um, Sandy Mustafa, are you still in the room, sweetheart? Sandy Mustafa, are you still in the room? I'm just waiting to see because I, I saw her and then um, I was in the middle of doing a reading. Hang on, I'm waiting to see. Sandy Mustafa, come on down. Let me know if you're still in the room. I would like to give you a card. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Uh, 
Ooh, 77 in the room. That's a good number. That's a good number. Welcome, everybody. I'm going to wait a little bit just to see if Sandy is still here. She might have had to leave. Sometimes my delay takes a little time. Oh, you came from my TikTok. Welcome, welcome. Ms. Sandy. She's getting ready to pack up and move into her new place, so she probably just stopped on for a quick hello. All right, I don't see her. That's okay. I know where she lives. <laughs> All right. All right, let's see here. Let's see. Um, you know, tell me, guys, that you are 18 or over. I need to know that you are 18 or over to get a message. No, she might have had to step out. She's busy packing. Just, um, the name just Jalisa, who is 33. Jalisa, who is 33. I will pull you a card. Hi, Nada. Welcome, welcome. All right, Jalisa, here's a card for you. Play. Jalisa, you've been working too hard. You've been working too hard. It is time to go out and play. If you are out of balance and you are working too much and not playing enough, you're going to get a message that says play. Go out and have a little fun with your life. Okay? Do something that, um, you know, like sometimes you think, oh my gosh, I haven't done that since I was a kid. Just Jalisa, it is time. You know what I almost did the other day? I almost bought me a set of jacks. Oh my God, can you imagine? I haven't played jacks since I was a kid. So, go out and do something that, yes, go out and play. Please do that. Okay, so Christina, you are 50. Christina, you are 50. Welcome to my TikTok people that found me over here. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram because I do lives over there as well. Who did I just call? I just called somebody's name. Who did I just call? My brain just went psst. Well, you heard your name, so this is going to be for you. You just ordered some jacks to teach your girls. How fun is that? The one that I just called your name, you know who you are. Take And guys, if these cards resonate with you, even though I haven't pulled your name, claim it. Take it. Take it. Okay. Initiative. Something we are to take the initiative on. Okay. So, we, sometimes things require our input okay yes uh, Christina 50 is who you call thank you all right so a lot of times you know the spirit helps us they do they guide us and they give us messages and they give us signs but sometimes they want to wait and it's like no I'll just wait sit here and wait for spirit to give me a message no Christina it is time for you now to take the initiative you have to. Yeah, it came through twice on my other live. I know. Crazy. So, Spirit this time is waiting to see if you're willing to step in. Are you willing to step in? Take that initial step. They're waiting. Once you make that decision, then they can come in to assist you and help you. Okay? All right. So, let's see. I'm going to scroll through. You don't have Instagram? Follow me on uh, TikTok. Follow me on TikTok. 
um, guys, go on to my, I want you guys to go on to my YouTube, which is Pam Sears Psychic Medium. Please subscribe. I need to get to a thousand so that I can go do free lives, excuse me, on YouTube. I think I might have a little under 400. Uh, all right. So, uh, Lindsay Brooke Flowers, Lindsay Brooke Flowers, are you 18 or over, please? Welcome, all you new people. Welcome, welcome. Lindsay Brooke, are you 18 or over? Let me just make sure. Lindsay Brooke Flowers, come on down if you're 18 or over. I can be so dorky, guys. Lindsay Brooke. You're 23. It's your lucky day, Lindsay. Let me pull a card for you. Lindsay, Lindsay, Lindsay. Where's your confidence, girl? Where is your confidence, girl? Oh, thank you, Rebecca. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I love, been wanting to wear all my fluorescent colors. So, where's your confidence? If there's been a shaking of your confidence lately, the phrase I keep hearing is, fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it. Girl, you walk into that room like you freaking own that room. And if this card resonates for anyone else in here, take it. You walk into that room, people are going to look towards you and go, damn, that girl's got some uh, high self-esteem and some confidence. They don't have to know you're shaking in your boots when you walk into that room. You walk in like, yep, I freaking own this room. There you go. Fake it till you make it. Gotta own it, Lindsay. Gotta own it. That was for you, okay? Um, all right, I just, hang on a minute, guys. Okay, I think I have someone coming in. So, this is the routine, guys. You have to take um, everything. You have to claim everything, not just part of it. I am picking up the name Charles. I am picking up Ruby. I, I Now, is Ruby, Rudy? I'm not real good. Um, Charles, Ruby. Um, I'm picking up September and the number two. September and the number two. Now, September is also a nine, so it could be nine, could be two, two could also be February. I'm being shown a bus, a yellow bus. That always tells me possible bus driver. I'm picking up a number three, and I'm seeing the, uh, a gentleman, it's an older gentleman who passed. I'm seeing a big wide brim hat. And he's either a laborer or a mechanic. I'm, I'm being shown, um, using his hands, using his hands, uh, or he, he liked to make things. I'm not real sure right now, but definitely using his hands. Okay. Charles, Ruby, nine, September two, or the number nine, or number February, because that's two, um, being shown a bus. And the number three, if you, if you take everything, put it all in one sentence, how you can claim this spirit, please. Okay. Charles, Ruby, huge brim hat, brimmed hat, laborer, the month of September, number two, a yellow bus, and the number three. Let me just give it a minute, guys. My feed lags, and I may not see. 
Okay, not not just one thing. You can't just say my bir my daughter's birthday is September 2nd. You have to take it all, okay? You have to take it all. Because, you know, there's probably going to be postcards in here for somebody, but, um, you know, you have to be specific. And I'm going to see if there's anything else. Uh, oh, the three might be three children. The three could be three children or could be March. Thanks, Rebecca. Thanks for repeating that for people. So let's see. Oh, interesting. I'm there. Pam Sears, Psychic Medium. I'm on there. Um, I don't have a link to put on here for you right at the moment, Roseanne. Um, thanks, Rebecca. You're a big help tonight. Thank you very much. Um, all right. So let's see. No takers yet? Because I am going to be posting this on my YouTube later, and there may be somebody that watches it later that connects. So if no one can claim this particular spirit, then it may be for someone that watches later. So, Charles. Oh, thank you. Uh, Rebecca, you take all but Charles and the brim hat. Uh, now, Charles, I don't always hear really well. Is there a C-H name? Grandpa, September 22nd, Dad, March 3rd. Um, okay, let me see if I can come up with a little bit more. The, the bus is important. Thank you, Edie. Is that me? Thank you. No, Charles. Okay. So you can claim a Christopher. You know, for some reason, I, C-H-A, I do think it's C-H-R for some reason. So let's just wait a minute. Ruby Carlson, my grandmother, my birthday is three. What about the bus? You guys got to take the bus, guys. The bus is important. Was there someone who was a school bus driver? Kathleen, this might be partly for you. Do you know, okay, birthday is three. What about September? September and the number two, Kathleen. This might be for you, Kathleen. Let's just wait. Can you take the September and the number two? Could be September 2nd. It could be nine. Uh, because September is the ninth month. I drove my grandmother. I was the driver. So were you, are, were you the bus driver then? It's possible, Sarah, this might be a postcard for you. So, um, so Kathleen, talk to me in all caps. You drove your grandmother. I was the driver. Uh, hang on. Is my dad is sitting here with me tonight. His name is Charles. His brother always wore a brim hat. His brother passed, had a bus. He was buried on September 2nd. There you go. Monique, there you go. Wow, thank you for this validation. Um, Lindsay Brick Flowers. I think there might be more than, okay, Lindsay. Okay, so this is it. Monique, Lindsay, you can talk to me in all caps. This may be what I would call a, um, and Sarah, the three of you may talk to me in all caps. Some of this for you guys might be a postcard, but hang on a minute. Uh, that is so, I got to say this again, guys. It's just so amazing. My dad is sitting here with me tonight. His name is Charles. His brother always wore a brim hat. Uh, his brother had a bus. His, his brother past had a bus. He was buried on September 2nd. There you go. There you go. Whew. Okay. Monique, 
Come on down. You're the next contestant. So, sweetheart, talk to me in all caps, okay? So, um, was there, did, did your, um, there's the bus. You, your, your dad validated. Um, let me ask this. Um, did he pass from a heart attack? Monique, somebody passed quickly, quickly. Okay, so Patricia Hayes, you may inc include yourself on the piggyback. Okay, some of you may be getting postcards. Some of you, um, okay. Yes, thank you, Monique. This gentle, this is definitely for Monique. And some of you other ones are getting some messages as well. So yes, he passed quickly from a heart attack or right, a heart attack. Um, Monique, somebody didn't finish school. Who did not graduate? Who did not get a high school diploma? Who did, is your dad like close by you, Monique? So he knows this is his brother. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. Um, that's okay, Lindsay. You know, just, just take the messages as they come. Um, <clears throat> somebody didn't finish school. He had heart surgery and three days later he passed. Wow. Okay. Definitely. Um, this is him popping through. Um, and, and how, Monique, how do you do the Ruby? Uh, is Ruby, okay, did you say, Monique, that Ruby is your birthstone? You said something about the Ruby and validating that I said Ruby. So just let me know what that is. And who did not have a high school diploma? This is so cool. Um, the person was a hard, hard worker. Always... Always, you know, never, never stopped to rest practically, but they did not. Hard worker, but did not have a high school diploma. Did not finish school. Somebody, I don't know if it was this one that's talking to us now or someone else in the family. This is what I'm relaying. And we have a delay. Okay, Sarah, then that's definitely a message for you. Okay. All right. You know, you guys that the, those three that I said that you could, my mom's birthstone is Ruby. She did not finish school. Thank you, Monique, for that validation. This is strong with you, Monique. Very, very strong. The rest of you could be getting some postcards. Okay. Um, he'd been sick for a while. He would had some problems for a while and he's saying, I just didn't go to the doctor. I just didn't. Um, you know, it's kind of interesting. He's saying like, I was a macho man and we don't go to the doctor. We just don't. We just keep plugging away at things. And so he didn't, he didn't go to the doctor when he should have gone to the doctor soon enough. Um, and things got out of hand and it was too late. They did, like you said, they did surgery, but he didn't make it. Um, he He's talking about, um, for the rest of the family, um, to make sure that they go and get their checkups. Um, guys, don't give me caps unless I've asked you to give me caps. Okay, guys? Important, because it gets me too confused. Um Please and thank you. So, let's see, I'm just waiting for her to validate. In fact, somebody, I believe, was nagging him to go to the doctor, um, but he didn't, okay? I do believe there was somebody nagging him to go to the doctor. Um, he wishes that he could still go fishing. I don't know who that's for. Somebody probably went fishing with him. He's like, I wish that I could still go fishing.
Okay. Is there one who liked to go fishing? Thank you, Monique. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you're validating that he didn't go to the doctor. Okay. So is he, is he the fisherman? Something about he wishes that he, he could still go fishing. Well, the rest of you that I'm doing this reading for that are piggybacks, thank you for that validation. Absolutely. Okay. Pond in front of the house. Thank you for that validation. Okay, so Monique, uh, we'll see if this also validates for you. Um, is his wife still alive, Monique? Is his wife still alive? He's saying, tell my sweetheart, I said hello. Tell my sweetheart, I said hello, and I'm being shown a heart locket. Tell my sweetheart, I said hello, and I'm being shown a heart on a chain. Like it might have been something that he got for her. Uh, okay. So I'm just waiting for Monique to validate that because I don't know who he's calling sweetheart, but he's saying, um, and he's showing me the locket again, some kind of a locket. My dad said they always went fishing, but he never learned how to. His wife is still alive. Okay, Monique, fabulous. Thank you for that validation. Um, yeah, tell my sweetheart that I love her and I'm being shown a little heart locket or some kind of a locket that she would wear around her neck. Thank you for that validation. Um, and some of you are saying how you're getting postcards. I love it how we're all getting little quick messages. I call them flybys by from our loved ones. Let's see if there's anything else. Um, he's talking about the lucky one, the lucky one. The lucky one. I think he's talking about your dad. He's talking about the lucky one. And he's talking about the male. I think it's your dad, Charles. Did they... I wonder if he always called him the lucky one, the lucky one. But he's definitely pointing to a male brother saying, You're the lucky one. You're the lucky one. And that might mean that possibly... Because he gets to stick around and watch everyone grow up. Okay. Thank you, guys. You're very kind and sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. <laughs> I got to give this. He's showing me the old black and white shows. I'm, I'm being shown Gomer Pyle. Gomer Pyle. Is that, I don't know, was that the show, Gomer Pyle? He was in the, was he in the military? I don't know. Is there some connection to <laughs> your uncle or your dad and the old Gomer Pyle shows? Was Gomer Pyle in the service? I don't know. I'm giving that because he's showing me Gomer Pyle. I haven't thought of Gomer Pyle in years. Uh, from the Andy Griffith show. Okay. Okay. So, Monique, I don't know who that belongs to. That black and white show with Gomer Pyle. I guess he was on the Andy Griffith show. So, I don't know how that connects to either your dad or you um, or your uncle. Um, I just learned to not hold back anything and I give everything that comes. Okay, let's see. Does that resonate at all? Um, he wasn't, Gomer Pyle was a Marine? Okay. 
Uh, it's totally him. His sister and one brother left. My dad was in the military and he loves watching Andy Griffith. Boom. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You validated everything that he said when he popped in. Okay. So uh, when I saw the bus, I was like, I don't know how the bus fits in, but perfect. Um, so funny. All right. So he was in the military and he loved Andy Griffith. <laughs> Okay, so he's just sending his love, sweetheart. He sends his love. Um, it's just like, oh, and to your dad. This is what he's doing to your dad. Okay. He's serious, but he's also smiling. Okay. Um, so thank you for coming in. Thank you for allowing this to happen. Um, I always say they whisper in our ear to say, go into Pam's live and I have a message for you. So sweetheart, thank, uh, uh, thank you for, uh, allowing this. Um, are you going to share it with your dad? Was your dad watching while you, while you were listening to me? Your dad is crying. I don't want I don't want your dad to cry. Oh my god. But I mean this was so cool that you're sitting there with your dad and your uncle comes in. You know? This is awesome. Now, I am going to put this on my YouTube tonight on my YouTube channel. So this will be something you can go back if some of the rest of the family wants to listen or watch. Your uncle was very very strong coming through. So, thank you for that. Tell your dad I send him a lot of love, okay? And he's with sitting with you now. Hi, Dad. Okay. I'm going to pull a couple of our cards because I usually only try to be on here for uh, an hour, and it's just been almost an hour. Okay. So, guys, if you're 18 or over, <laughs> I just love these. Oh, you guys. I love what I do. I love, love what I do. I love giving back in service. That's why I do these lives. I never charge. Um, when we have gifts from God, we have an obligation to help and bring comfort to people. So uh, now if you're interested in a private reading, of course, you can send me a message and we can talk about that. But my lives are always free. Um, Nancy47. Nancy 47, let me pull a card for you. Thank you guys, you're so sweet, so kind. Okay. That is so cool, your dad is sitting there with you. Oh my God, my heart's all <gasps> mushy. All right, Nancy 47, allow. Allow, allow, allow love into your... Thank you guys. You're so very sweet, very kind. Allow. Allow love into your life. Allow people to help you. Why do you always got to do it yourself all the time? That's got to be tiring. I'd like to do everything myself too, but sometimes I know I have to allow someone to help. So it is time to allow others to help. Open up your heart. Um, open up your heart. Why is your husband laughing, Nancy? Maybe I don't want to know. Allow. Okay. Allow. Exhausted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got it. <laughs> oh, I was a little bit slow there. All right, so I'm going to pull a couple more cards, guys, and then I'm going to be done. Um, Kathleen, who is 58. Kathleen, who is 58. Kathleen, who is 58. Clarity. Something in your life you've been wanting to get clarity on. It's coming. It's coming. They have been attempting to give you the answers, but you have not quite listened. So they want you to get quiet, sit there quietly, ask the question again, and then 
get it out of your head and sit and listen because they're helping you with that. They're trying to help you get clear on something. Okay. Um, all right. So, uh, okay. So interesting. I have a Tam and I have a Tan. Like there's a Tanya and there's a Tam. This card is for both of you. Tam, T-A-M, and Tanya. This card is for both of you. Gratitude. Gratitude. When we show gratitude in our hearts, we verbalize it, sometimes in our mind, Sometimes out loud, I love to voice it out loud. I am so freaking grateful. The more we give gratitude, the more blessings come, okay? The more blessings come. So they're also reminding me to tell you to be grateful for even the painful lessons, you know, because that puts us where we're supposed to be. I have given thanks for so many painful lessons. It's unbelievable. The more gratitude you give, the more come. Okay. Now, guys, I've been on here for an hour. I'm going to pull a final card. Um, if you guys want, you can send me a private message. Okay. Send it to my website for my Heart Rock Oracle Cards deck. I'm going to pull a final card, which would be something that we can focus on for the whole week. Okay? Something we can focus on for the whole week. Yeah, I did a, a TikTok live, and I told them I had to take a break so I could come and do my Facebook. So I'm a little tired out now, guys. Authenticity is our final. This is what they want us to focus on for the week. Authenticity. Always stay true to yourself. Always stay true to yourself. Let's work on being our authentic selves, please. Guys, I want to say thank you. I am very blessed. Uh, I'm blessed, very blessed and thankful. I love you all. And uh, if you're not following me on Instagram, do it. Follow me on uh, YouTube and um, I'll be back. I love you all so much. Bye.